Hi, this is Kalia from Crafting on the Fly and today I'm going to show you how to make this macrame hairpin. So first you need this, um, the regular metal pin and a stick and you can I link that to uh, in the description and you need the 4mm cotton macrame yarn and I um, actually used food coloring to dye um, two of my yarns that go left and right and the rest of the yarns I left the cotton, natural cotton color. And then you just um, attach them to the ring with a lox head knot so that you have two of the blue ones on the outside and then four more of the um, solid ones in the center. And then you start with a regular knot there, go over and under and then over and under so that you can sort of make a cage for the two in the center. So there's two strings from left and right and then in the center and you pull it tight and then you do the same thing the opposite way. So you go over from left to right and leave that under and then put the one from the right side left under and go over. Just like that and you pull it tight. And that's one square knot once you have it really nice and tight. And then you repeat the same thing on the other side and then you do one more square knot in the center. So you use the two middle strands and then the one left and right to create one more square knot in that center. So it's under and over and then through. And then just do the same but the opposite way. And all of the instructions and details are also on my blog, there's a link to uh, the uh, photo tutorial. And now you use the outer one, lay them across so that you can do a row of knots this way. So it's also, this is your bearing um, string, is the outer one that you always have like this and you always come with the other one underneath twice with each string. So you saw those two, and that's the first knot there. And then another one over and through there and do it one more time. So again the bearing one is on top and the other one is just you go from underneath and over and just do it twice for each string. And you do the same thing from the other side. So it's also the outer one, it's the bearing one that you lay on top, and then the other one comes from the below and then through the loop that it forms. You pull it tight, and then you do it one more time. And then you do the same. And it's best to just use a clipboard to uh, clip the top of the uh, um, hairpin so that you have enough you know tightness to really pull all those uh, knots tight so you have something that holds it up see so the same thing all the way to the bottom always twice and then you just do a knot with the center one And then one more time with the last blue one, it's also the bearing one, you leave it on top and just do two knots each with the ones that are left. Go all the way from both sides again and this way you have um, blue on the top there and then the blue string is going to end up at the bottom. And it gives it a nice little um, interesting feature with the colors. And you can color them anyway, that's why I love having the natural um, cotton string because then you can, can use the food coloring and dye it any color. And the same on the other side. And then 
this is the center and that's it all you have to do is comb it and it's nice to either use the metal comb or I like this um, tight comb so you really get all the different strings you can also use your fingers to get them apart just any way to really get all the different and simple strings until you have it all out like that then you can use the uh, stiffening like fabric stiffening spray I really like this that makes it nice and stiff so that you can cut it perfectly and also once you wear it it's gonna stay nice and straight so once it dried then you can really see how stiff all those ends are you can really cut it perfectly a little bit the bottom and then up so really let this dry once you spray it you have to place it someplace nice and straight and then let it dry and then you can cut it and that's it there's your hairpin